Good morning, good morning everyone and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Many people today say they are a Christian. However, you cannot tell it by the way they live. It's not that their lives are evident with sin and worldly lust. Instead, there is no example of the character and conduct of Christ in their lives. Christianity is not just to be held as an idea or our, our heads or sentiment in our hearts, but it is a lifestyle. Jesus said, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves take up their cross daily and follow me. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. However, when he, the comforter, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth has come, whom the Father will send in my name, he will guide you into all truth. He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. Living by the Spirit is the root. Walking by the Spirit is the fruit. And that fruit is nothing less than the practical reproduction of the character and therefore the conduct of Christ in the lives of his people. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. When the Holy Spirit controls our lives, He produces this kind of fruit in us. If we then are living now by the Holy Spirit's power, let us follow the Holy Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.